Before I start the video make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, ok let's start. Denji and Power chat about whether it is ok to eat the still living ducks while they munch and observe some birds in a park. Denji drops his meal by accident, but as he attempts to pick it up and consume it, a devil hunter named Kuzakabe stops him and chastises him. Kuzakabe cautions him about bacteria and food poisoning, but Denji only gets angrier. Although Tameoki, Aki, Angel Devil, Yoshida, and Angel Devil all concur that eating the food would be unwise, Denji does so right away. The group introduces itself in a flashback. Denji is informed by Makima that they would serve as his personal security along with another group of three operatives. Denji responds to Kuzakabe's attempts to assert his control over him with sarcasm and yawning. The hunters Subaru, Yutaro, and Michiko all stop to smoke somewhere else. Subaru responds that the other devils can smell Denji, which begs the question of why they couldn't just disguise him as a human. Subaru inquires about Makima as they make their way to the main gathering. Tendo pauses and says there's something they want to talk about with regards to her. A set of road spikes are hurled in front of the car before they can. The vehicle veers and collides with a tree. Subaru, who is unconscious in the wreckage, awakens just in time to witness the three American brothers shooting the three hunters dead outside the vehicle. The older two brothers laugh around, but Aldo is horrified by the murder, Aldo vomits while hiding the bodies. When Sato asks Joey how he feels about killing, Joey replies that he merely feels a little annoyed and disgusted. Sato chuckles before mimicking Kuroza's expression. Sato adjusts his tone and accent to match Kuroza's voice as the three discuss it. Denji and Power eat while the rest of the group waits inside a burger joint. Kuzakabe interrupts Power as she begins to serve Denji her vegetables and tells her to finish them for her health. As Denji forces them into her lips, the others nod in agreement. Power starts to perspire while choking on vomit. The woman from the jungle strolls by the table as everyone is enthused. Power decides to leave in anger, and the others decide to follow. The woman tells Tolka she used three nail stabs to summon the cursed devil, and that only one more poke is necessary as she sits at a table with him. She starts eating a burger and gives Tolka the last poke. She struggles because of her numb hand and her compromised perceptions, but she enjoys the experience. Kobini praises Violence Fiend for buying her an ice cream cone as the two of them exit the building. Given his friendliness, he questions his status as the Violence Fiend. He responds by explaining that he still has a large portion of his human brain, which means he still has a lot of early memories. He just remembers that Makima saved him, he has no recollections of dying. Unexpectedly, a car stops next to them, and Sato, posing as Kuroz, gets out. He commands the two to report the deaths of Tendo and Subaru before making a whispered remark about their credulity. Later, after a day of non-stop movement, Denji and Power sit, fatigued. Denji complains angrily that Aki is using him as bait to bring out the threats rather than protecting him, and Aki agrees. He calms Denji by promising him his trip, but Power is still incensed. With her asking to drain a person of their blood to the point where they die, Aki promises her one reward in exchange for her participation. After pausing, Aki consents to let her drain Denji. Power swiftly puts an end to Denji's complaints by leaping on his shoulders and yelling, Wuho. Driving over to meet the main gang are Violence Fiend, Kobini, and Joey and Aldo's eldest nameless sibling who is still wearing the disguise of Kuroz. When Aki asks the brother posing as Kuroz to reconsider joining the assignment, he lies and says he wants to exact revenge on Tendo and Subaru. Power gets sidetracked by Kobini's automobile as they resume their conversation, she jumps into the driver's seat and lies about having a license, stating the vehicle is actually hers that Kobini stole it. Despite Kobini's faint objections, Power cheerfully threatens her, silences her, and sits in the passenger seat. While the older brother of Joey and Aldo presents himself to Denji and the two shake hands. Suddenly, Power jolts the car forward, smashing into both of them and killing the brother. 
As the group watches the brother's disguise disappear and show his genuine face, Kuzakabe abruptly screams out as they all respond in shock. He is recognized by Tameoki, who informs the others of his agreement with the skin devil and the possibility that his brothers are nearby. Aki turns to power, who at first panicked and blamed Kobini but then started to say that she had known the truth all along. Kobini is still in her car, shivering and crying out in shock, two bystanders are seen observing the situation with horror. They make their way to an alleyway, where it is revealed they were Joey and Aldo undercover. Aldo throws up as Joey tries to gather himself and come up with a strategy. But suddenly, a mysterious stranger grabs him and pulls him into a corner. As Yoshida turns the corner after instantly killing Joey, Aldo hastily changes his disguise. He observes Aldo throwing up and dismisses him as a bystander until discreetly said, a pro wouldn't puke. 